Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today we'll be talking about how to properly handle conflict, i.e. an argument. I feel like there's not a lot of realistic good advice about how to approach a subject and I want to let you know that it's difficult. It's uncomfortable. No one really wants to deal with an argument. No one wants to handle conflict. Even for people who are really confident and good at it, it's still awkward. It still gets a lot of your emotions up. It's very emotional. It's not rational. And unless you're very healthy and have a good sense of what you want to accomplish and humility, most of the time it will not go your way or be successful because even though you're trying to hash this out, be rational, realize that most conflicts and arguments are completely emotional. So you can't use logic as a weapon. But what you can do is checking understanding. You can check their understanding. You can clarify questions and I'll give you guys examples of what this means. So realize that when someone is mad at you, you have your perspective, they have their perspective. There may be a correct perspective, but it doesn't really matter in how you wanna address it because saying you're wrong, I'm right, regardless of the situation is probably not the best way. You can only explain this logically, factually, what happened to cause this event. And that can only occur when they're level-headed. So realize you have to deal with the emotion first. So let's say, for example, someone is mad at you and you never meant to make them angry and their perspective of the events is not true, but they interpret it in a way that makes sense to them of why they're hurt. You, as a stronger person, approach them to clear the air because you value their friendship or relationship or whoever it is. You can say, hey, I noticed recently that I possibly did something to hurt you. I never meant to do that. May you explain further of what happened so I can better understand. And most of the time, they're unhealthy. Most people are very unhealthy. They're gonna come out strong, hot. It's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be like very, very irrational actually. Then you start bringing up things of how you pissed them off in the past. And it's not just this specific event. It's like a ton of events. And it's really hard to decipher what's going on. Let them vent. This is the hardest part. Once you do that, you have to acknowledge your emotion. You have to say, hey, I'm sorry that I did that. And that's a very difficult thing to do, even though you believe you're right. This is only possible if you want to maintain or you're put in a position where you have to mend the relationship. For example, if they're a boss, your family member, whatever it is, you have to be the bigger person. With this in mind, this is for relationships that you can't always step away from. You can say, I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry you felt that way. That was never my intention. I do truly care about you. May I summarize how I may correct my behavior to make sure this never happens again? and they'll let you speak and you summarize their main points. And you can always ask clarifying questions. If things are murky in, in a gray zone, you can say, hey, may I ask clarifying questions so I can get a better understanding of this? Yes, you will probably have to be the bigger person even though you're being professional, calm and quiet. The other person probably won't do that. If you're dealing with a healthy individual, this probably wouldn't happen because healthy dynamics is Someone comes to you and say, hey, you did something. I know you didn't mean to do it, but it really rubbed me the wrong way. They're giving you the benefit of the doubt, but you're approaching it while it's small versus allowing something to fester up and it blows up and shit hits the fan. And also as a good friend, daughter, son, whoever it is, if you acknowledge that you rub someone the wrong way, the possibility of it, you could bring it up and say, hey, I'm not quite sure if I offended you, but I just want to in advance apologize if I did. If it's not a big deal, they'll say, hey, don't worry about it all, we're good, we're fine. Or they'll say, hey, it did rub me the wrong way, thank you again for bringing it up, and it's done. But we live in a vacuum of people kind of crazy and emotional, and we, a lot of people have not worked on their internal grief and insecurities, and I feel like we all are, so having empathy towards that. I know recently I've had to have very difficult conversations and it's not fun. I'd say I'm really good at it, but it's still not fun. And realize that the other person probably won't ever wanna hear your point of view. That's possible. And you may have a complete perfect plan and they'll try to derail you and allow you to get emotional, but try your best to find a way to vent and bring it up in a way they'll understand if the relationship is worth keeping. Otherwise, you can come up with the conclusion by yourself that you don't have to deal with this disrespect and let that relationship go. But not everything is black and white. Sometimes you have to bend the knee, as you would say, to maintain that for the peace, harmony, family, boss, whatever it is, and just let things cool down. Once you acknowledge they're hurt, you have this difficult conversation, you're not gonna feel good. The other person might not feel good, but they might feel a sense of relief. And you might feel wronged. I know when I had a difficult conversation, the other individual would not 
particularly pay attention that really hurt because I cared about the individual tremendously. But out of respect, I did bend the knee and apologize for my actions. But it did leave my feeling quite hurt. So the best advice that I would say is just let it cool off, let it simmer down. Because even if you have the conversation, you think you're good. Everything's all good. It's all forgiven. For healthy, rational individuals, it would, theoretically. But we're humans, and we're all humans, and we have issues, and we have flaws, and that's okay. The anger will still be there. So most of the time, if you see the person again shortly after, things aren't there. But time will heal all wounds, time will get better, so just let things cool down. And I would say it's difficult because... Human beings were very non-confrontational. Some people are very confrontational, but even they don't necessarily like it. It's still uncomfortable, but you just have to do it. In this life, you just have to do certain things you don't want to do, but you have to do it so you can continually operate. I know, it's quite difficult. And I feel like this is never brought up about how to deal with the social dynamics of upsetting someone. And in this life, you will disappoint everyone you know. And everyone that you know will disappoint you. But if you love them enough, it will carry everything forward. And you have to approach that and bring it down to a level where you both are understanding. So you have to diffuse the situation if you really care. And sometimes you always do have to be the bigger person and wear the pants and just deal with it if it's worth keeping. It's not comfortable, it's not right, it's not wrong, whatever it is. Regardless of someone being right or wrong, these are human beings in your life. And even though if you are right, you know that. And the way you carry yourself is what matters. But even though everyone may think you're wrong, you know what's right in your heart. So it's very difficult because it's not like you're trying to convince the other person that they're wrong. It's just acknowledge and convince the emotions valid. Validate people's emotions. That will serve you well. Validate, validate, and summarize. Say, I am sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry you feel this way. May I explain in my own words of what I did to you? Okay, by checking understanding, that's a great thing. You're establishing common ground. You're establishing communication. You're not just saying words. You feel the other person. You feel for them. And that will serve you quite well. I would always say, do emotion first, facts second or third. Okay, put the human being first. Because otherwise, if you come in logically trying to say you're being irrational, you're not listening, you're only making things worse. And it will probably go to a point where it's irreparable. Okay, so understand that it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. The only proper way to conflict is going through. Avoiding it, running away, it's a difficult thing. If someone wronged you and you don't really care about them, you'll never see them again and you've like reasoned this out, don't, you don't have to say anything. You just cut them out of your life dead there. You don't owe an explanation to people. If someone you care about, you have to go towards the problem. You have to go towards the issue. And that's a very difficult thing. It's very uncomfortable. It's highly uncomfortable. No one likes to do it. I don't like to do it, but you have to do it to be a man, to be a working individual, because conflicts will happen. It'll happen with your spouse, happen with your best friend. It's gonna happen to everyone. So go into it and realize you won't be perfect at this. I'm not perfect at it, but you get better over time. And you'll find some fights are worth fighting for, some fights aren't worth fighting for. And I wish things would be fair in life where there's clear winner and clear loser, but at the end realize that if the other person's going off on you, you're both losing, okay? You're trying to mend the relationship. If you're both screaming at each other, you don't feel better. You get more pissed, you get more angry. Yelling at the other person argument does not make you feel better. You think it would, but you still lose because now you're thinking about it. It's taking away your time, effort, energy. It's haunting you while you sleep. It's haunting you. You can no longer be present to the moment. Understand that. So going in rationally will save you time. Because if you go in, speak your mind, speak your truth, to be a big boy, be a badass, big dick someone, there'll be consequences. It'll take away from your inner peace. So being the better person hurts short term, but you win long term because you're not festering this rage. It'll dissipate. If you go in hot and short, you may win in the short term or think you won. Long term, you'll be worse off because a lot of people lost respect for you. I hope this video helps. If you want to talk about it further, please email me or follow me on Instagram, see what I'm up to. As always, wish you guys the best. Peace out. Namaste.